Okay, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to perform if greater than, if less than logic tests within an if statement. Now I'm going to do this uh, within if, I'll do that in column F, but I'll also show you how to use those same comparison operators with conditional formatting, which will automatically change the color of cells. So let's start off in F4. I need to ask the question, have I met the target? This is the actual score I've got. This is the target. So my logical test might be, is the actual value greater than or equal to the target? Now you can see the comparison operator I've used there. That's greater than, and that's obviously equal to. And I've written these comparison operators here in column B. So if I press enter, the answer is obviously going to be false because I haven't met the target. Now, instead of false, I want to say no. So I need to put this in an if. If will allow us to provide a value for true and a value for false. So my value for true would be yes. And my value for false would be no. There's the bracket at the end. Now, because yes and no are text values, I've had to put them in speech marks. But if I press enter, I get no because I haven't met the sales target. Now, I could ask the opposite question. Have I missed the target? So my logical test would be, is this actual value less than the target? So again, I've written these comparison operators down here for you. So this is the less than comparison operator. And that returns true because I have missed the target. And again, I could put that within an if statement. My value if true would be yes. And my value if false would be no. Close the bracket at the end and I get a yes. Now you can also use these comparison operators in relation to dates. So here's my deadline. It was yesterday, today's date is here the 2nd of August. Now the way I could check that is I could ask whether this date is greater than the deadline. So if, open bracket, logical test, value of true would be yes. Today's date is greater than the deadline, so I've missed the deadline, and my value of false would be no. So over here in column I, what we'll do is we'll apply conditional formatting to run the same tests. So I want this cell to go green if the target has been met. So I select the cell, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, and I want greater than or equal to, I can't see that in the list. So I go down to more rules, cell value greater than or equal to, Click into this box and select the target cell. And then if I go to format, I can choose a background color. I'll also change the font color. So nothing happens at the moment because I haven't met the sales target. If I changed this value to 35, it would go green. So what about have we missed the sales target? I want this to go red if we've missed the sales target, so conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, less than, less than the target, choose a custom format. Click on OK, so it's gone red because we've missed the sales target. Let's do the final one for dates. If we've missed the deadline, we want this to go red. So conditional formatting, highlight sales rules, greater than, greater than this date. We want it to go red. White text, click on OK. And you can see that the cell has gone red because this date exceeds the deadline. OK, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.